while it Wednesday, school is out for summer. That means teens are headed out into the workforce to make a little money. But what they do with that money could be an important step to get them in the right direction for financial literacy. And joining us live with some tips for parents of teens this summer is Heather Seppa. She's the regional manager for Oregon-based Umqua Bank. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. Important topic here. Uh, summer jobs, a great way for teens to make their own money. Uh, but how do you get them to start saving money early in life when, uh, you know, the, the end of life seems so far away? Well, I think teaching them the why and coming with some up with some short term or long term goals. You know, remember the school shopping that you're saving for or maybe you're saving for that first car. So coming up with something you know, at the end that's out there that we can help them save for. Maybe finding a goal that seems a little closer than retirement might right, make them right. care just exactly. a little more. Yeah. So you've got five easy steps to help teach teens about saving money. So walk us through those steps and, and your tips. Well, again, coming up with the why, I think that's it's easier. What, what's your goal? What would you like to buy? Um, and then identify maybe a percentage of that paycheck each month um, that's going into their savings account. So they don't even have to touch it, it just goes there. Yeah, what are and some, then, oh, go ahead. Yeah, and then, you know, of course, uh, really important, they need to find a bank. And it's a good idea for, um, you know, parents to go with their teens uh, to open an account, look at the options, maybe they can get a debit card or an ATM card, they can get online banking so they can see what's going on with their account, keep them engaged, keep the conversations going. Mm -hmm. I like I like tip number three, direct deposit. That's helpful even when you're not a yeah, teen. Yeah, when you're a grown even up, you're you a need that. Yes. <laughs> yes, you don't even see it, it just goes into the account, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you also suggest using a budget app. I've, I've never been good at making or sticking to a budget. So do, are these apps really helpful? Well, you know our kids, they exist on these phones, right? Uh-huh. So there are tons of apps out there and really age appropriate depending on when you're getting started. So I went and looked at some and yeah, lots of fun and just, you know, engage with your teens as, as they're um, kind of embarking on this new um, journey of saving money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what are some of the biggest mistakes that teens and young adults make when it comes to money? Well, I think not budgeting and not planning, right? And not having a goal. And so when it's the power of savings, it's not really the interest rate when you're starting out because you don't have much, right? But it's that power of every paycheck, something goes into that savings account. And that's for that's a plan for. That's not in your spending budget. Right, right. I mean, it all starts to snowball and it's, it's hard to notice at first, but down the line, it will really help. How can parents approach talking with their teens about finances. I know a lot of adults that get uncomfortable talking about money. Yeah. So how do you have that talk with your kids? Yeah, no, great question. So um, I think, you know, setting the goals, how are we going to get there? How can I help you? Um, looking at their paycheck. Um, kids are pretty surprised the first time they get their paycheck and they see, well, but I made this much money. Where is all this other money going? taxes, insurance, social security. So just having those honest conversations about um, what that money is for, uh, what they end up with, and then, um, you know, planning some goals and on how you plan for, for that, that savings account. Yeah, once they realize that uh, even a little bit over a long period of time can really add up, uh, once they see those numbers, I, I, I think that will be a great lesson for the young folks. So mm -hmm. thank you, uh, Heather Heppa. Great tips for all the teens and parents out there. We appreciate you joining us. Thanks for having me. And for more financial advice and money management tips, check out our previous Wallet Wednesday segments on coin.com. Just click on AM Extra. It's 737 and coming up next on AM